Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Savage Saturdays. We're on episode five here. I'm your host, Derek Wida, and joining us once again, it's my wife, Stacy Wida. Hi, Stacy. <laughs> Hi. I didn't know I was supposed to introduce myself. Oh yeah, we sorry. Don't, uh, there's no, there's no script here. We just, yeah, but you just, you, you just... make me do all oh, the work. Oh shit, Owen's here too. Say hello, Owen. What's up? We introduced. <laughs> I'm gonna try talking into the microphone today. Yeah. Finally. You know what's funny? So this is all. We're on episode five, actually. So I was just thinking, it's like, at what point is this gonna be a legitimate podcast when we have? So many episodes. I just stopped saying what episode we're on. But I guess, so this is episode five. We've been learning every week. Every week we fuck something up. <laughs> and uh, we're just learning stuff, you know. And so on episode three the with Stacy, I got fucking my ass chewed out uh -oh. for not uh, talking into the microphone. Yeah, by me. Yeah, by you. By, by, by Owen. Oh, you know, so I like when you lean away from the microphone, it can tend to sound quieter. So I got I got lit up for doing that, and then we. Um, I think I was talking too loud. No, you, you were, were great. You were great. You oh, sounded, I was great. You, I was yeah. You were great. It, it made you were so good. It made me feel insecure. <laughs> then I need to step it up as the host. You yeah. Know? Like, yeah. <laughs> Who's interviewing then, you? Yeah. Hugh. Hugh. Mm -hmm. But um. So then last week we introduced Owen. And what happened, Owen? Uh, I leaned too far away from the microphone. Yeah, all the whole time. <laughs> yeah, the whole I time. I was just like, you motherfucker. Yeah. I, started, I started editing, and within the first, like, I don't know, 15, 30 seconds, I was yeah. like, oh, no. It's easy to forget. Or, yep. you know, and, and, um, just stay then, still. Like, that's literally all you have to do. Nobody move. Nobody get that's hurt. That's what I do. That's one of my favorite songs. Well, that's because I'm sitting on a box. Nobody move. Nobody get hurt by... Uh, we are scientists. That's maybe that'll be the savage slapper. It's not so much of a slapper, but uh, it's one of my one of my favorite songs. We are scientists is the band. What's a slapper? You know, like a it's a so if, instead of saying song of the week, oh. I say the savage slapper of the week. And I was gonna okay. do one every show. This is episode five. I've done one so far. Done one. This is the second yeah. one. Yeah. Somebody somebody wrote me a message the other day. They're like Derek. When are you going to release a, another Savage Slapper? Because I'm still listening to that <laughs> other one on repeat. <laughs> Good listener. Yeah. Like, man, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I, I thought it was a flapper. The flapper. Ugh, I don't know. The Savage Fapper. No, but Slapper goes with Savage. S and S. -S Got it. S -S I typed that today as like an abbreviation for Savage Saturday in an email. And I just said, I put SS. I was like, maybe I'll not use SS. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. The yeah, SS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Awkward. fuck with me. <laughs> it's not funny, guys. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look, like that is hot coffee. Yeah. You it's know, steaming. That's that mug is like super this, hot. This mug, if you guys can't see, I have one of those silver tin material black rifle coffee mugs. Yeah. And I, I just finished a cup of coffee before this. Using this, I don't. I don't often. If I have two cups of coffee, I use two different mugs. Yeah, you're not is using that, the red one that I'm not allowed to have. That I used one that this morning. is oh, okay. dirty. Yeah. So this one I gave him, and the other one that's just like a black with that top. Anyway, a bunch of their mugs are super freaking hot. I use the same like, mug insane. all week. Yeah, like, that's do you wash you it? I would. swish a little water in it would. and okay. dump it out. At you, work, I do that. Of, you look like the kind of guy that like picks up a pair of underwear off his floor, gives it a sniff, hey. and if it doesn't make <laughs> you vomit, that's good. That second, you're like, yeah, I can okay. wear these. We're Says the guy who does like eight laundry, <laughs> eight loads of laundry a day. Yeah, like, I wash my clothes. I'm the. I am your. Our obsessive. water bill is ridiculous. Redick, we're dick, we're dick, we're dick. Get that redick. <laughs> <laughs> we got redicked on, the, on our fucking. Water. Uh, yeah, but no, I was thinking. Uh, so I was in Col Jeez. I was in Colorado this past weekend, and you know what? I'm going. How was that? I'm getting. Uh, it was great. It was great. I'm paying the price for it today. But, um, <laughs> I'm paying the price since. But it's um, so Tuesday. I had a steaming cup of coffee. I was. We were in Breckenridge, and so it was nice and cold outside, and I like that. So I was having my coffee outside. And I'm going on 35 this year. You're fucking pushing 50, and Stacy's a year behind me. Wow! So we talk about we talk about <laughs> yeah, we talk about like oh we're getting old. We feel our joints and things like that. We're not shit. 
You know, like I think you know you're old when you can just dive right into a steaming cup of coffee. Yeah. Because I used to watch my grandma like take a pot, pour it. Yeah. It looks like somebody just turned off the shower and opened the door. Yep. And she's just like, she just no went feeling. for it. Yeah. Like, like fogs when up your glasses. Yeah, when you're just when you're at that point, cool. that's 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 when we can like legitimately talk about being old. But did got, you say how old I was? I got a year behind me. Oh, yeah. okay. Six months behind me. Which is what, you're 34, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll be 34 in July. Yeah. Oh, you'll be 34. Yeah, yeah I'm old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going on. A, we're going oh, we're going to see Joe Rogan for her birthday. Nice. Joe Rogan yeah, is coming yeah. on July 10th. He's playing at Park MGM. Yes. And so and we, we stayed there. We, it, yes. It, you may be, you know I what? really we like Park MGM. Vegas recommendations. Okay. We, <gasps> Actually, yeah. So when we first moved here, that was our goal. Like once every, we did month for a while, I think. We stayed at a we new hotel. We probably would have kept going on like staycations every month if we didn't do the whole fucking IVF have twins thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sort of shut down our fucking uh, social life there a little bit. And money. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That was a, yeah. Took a, took a hurt. And, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so we have some good recommendations, we're, I think. What okay. were your favorite spots? Okay, hold on, hold on. Someone comes, oh. one, of, one of your friend, one of your friends asks you, they say, I'm coming to Las Vegas. Where should I stay? I always say Mirage. That's my favorite. On the Strip, I would say. So there's different. So we, obviously there's the Strip and then there's Fremont. So that's like downtown Las Vegas. Old Las Vegas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Old, we used to say downtown. Anyways, yeah. So downtown is Fremont area where the locals go. And so if you, everyone wants to stay on the Strip. So I say Mirage, but you say. I, t- I typically go with New York, New York. Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> Zoomanity. And so like when someone, someone's, um, in New York, New York, Zumanity is the Cirque du Soleil there. And that's the, it's like a sexual erotic Cirque du Soleil. And they, they're like, it's 18 plus cause they're going to show some titties. And so I knew there was nudity going into this <laughs> nice. and you know, like Stacy and I were going and I was like, and I said, Stacy, um, is there going to be like, are the guys wiener. naked too? Is there it's like, I'm fine. No, nudity. there's not so, boy so then, wiener. You know, I was like, I was like, Stacy, is there, are the guys naked too? Because like, I'm fine. I've, I see Dick at the gym all the time, <laughs> but I was like, but I've never seen upside down spinning Dick. Oh, and I want to be fucking prepared for Helicopter. that. If I just wasn't prepared and they came like, brrr, you know, spiraling down and I'm just sitting there like <laughs> open jawed staring at this dude, Dick in, in the fucking wind there. You know, I was like, <laughs> I just wanted to be. I just wanted to know because she was like, she was like, I don't know why would that be an issue. No, I, I was like, it's not an issue. I just want to be fucking prepared for upside down spinning dick. No, <laughs> okay, because no, not, yeah, no wiener. So there was no dick. Um, Zoomanity was Boo. great, and then um, they have the dueling pianos right there in the middle. Oh of the, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and then also the Irish bar. Yeah, so there's a lot we like yeah. about about New York. But New York. I, th- but it, um, I think. I think it's a close rival with the link because I like that little fucking alley. But anyway, oh, so those, okay, yeah. So those are the whole, okay. Someone says, "What one place to eat should I go?" Uh, we had that. We had that happen when your friend who was from Germany or something stopped by, and they were asking what barbecue place to go eat at. Oh, yeah. there's not. Well, Mabel's okay. barbecue. So that's, that's my. That's Mabel's my place now. is really good. If you come to Las Vegas, the place I say you should go eat. Is it's called Mabel's at the Palms. It's a yeah. barbecue place. The staff is super fucking awesome. Uh, the the I like their fucking mixed drinks. I get their mule there is really good. Yeah. But we go there and we get uh we, you know we order the beef rib, the uh, the brisket. We get um, the beef loaded dips. potatoes. Yeah, the loaded potatoes, motherfucker. They're like potato wedges with, with you know like cheese and brisket On and onions top. and peppers. Yeah. And we love it because our boys love brisket or they love any meat, barbecue. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Like, but uh, that, that just opened. So I would say, like, our go-to was always Gordon Ramsay's... Uh, the one at Caesars. Pub, Pub and Grill. Grill. Yeah. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pub and Grill, but also, There's like... sticky toffee pudding there. Yes, that's Stacey amazing. Stacey liked that more than me. Uh, but if you want, like, a fancy place, go to Steak, which is in Paris. They got the Beef Wellington. Yes. Nice. So good. Like, yeah. everything on their menu is good, though. Yeah. So, I mean, you would have to hop around, but Ubers are plentiful. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but I was thinking that you were going to say New York, New York because of <laughs> Derek's rule for if a hotel is good or not is the um, in-room dining. Yeah. IRD. But they, they let me down. 
Because like when we first started going there, they yeah. had that fucking buffalo chicken tender quesadilla. Yes. And it's off the menu. Yeah. It was fucking amazing, dude. So like yeah. that is that is you're right. That is a real thing with me. If a yes. hotel doesn't have 24 hour in room dining, yeah, I get fucking irate because if, <laughs> when you're at a hotel, you there you don't cook in Vegas. Also, and you, like and you're if up you're late. At a hotel, yeah. you don't get to your room till 12 12 30. Mm-hmm. So that's why the link is another good one because 24 I have hash hours go go upstairs. Yes, true. So, yeah. You know? But so also anytime, oh, okay, well, I look at reviews. I'm the, <laughs> the type of person that reads reviews for everything. So I look at reviews for hotels and then I look to see if they have in-room dining and the hours of in-room dining. Because if it's not 24-7, then the Derek point? is going to say, Derek right? Gets, What's Derek the point? Crabby. Yeah. Which is weird because it's Vegas. Like, why would you not have in-room dining 24-7? Yeah, maybe they want you to go downstairs to the restaurant. That's probably closed too. But I, <laughs> probably. I, I, really, I did really like... Park MGM. Our yeah, so that's the new cool. one. Yeah. yeah, we we stay in the stay well rooms in the Mirage and Park MGM. I'm sure other hotels have them. Neon lights, dude. What are the stay well rooms? Stay they fucking well. got special s- smells. You know, <laughs> aromatherapy. Like, yeah. Wow. Special (laughs) smell. It's bougie. Yes. Okay. So like there's a light panel and you can click different things. It's like energy or play. Derek likes the play one, I think, because it's purple. Yeah. Well, it will like transferred like neon pink to purple. Or like green, like circadian, or it can like wake you up gently in the morning. Like circadian. Circadian. Cir- like circadian rhythm. You know what? Like so that. my whole life until last year, I thought it was carcadian. And I was like, what a, what a weird word. And then I heard somebody say circadian. I was like, what? Sir, C-I-R-C-A-D-I-A-N. Circadian. But it starts with a C. So yes. It's like, Kuh. You know? Oh, dear. It's a cock, not a sock. You know, like. <laughs> 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 Anyways, but what about Fremont? What would you say about Fremont? We stay at the Nugget, but the Nugget, but, um, you know the. It's not the nicest for mm. sure. The rooms are definitely oh. Fremont. Yeah. Okay, so the one place do not go to the Luxor. Oh my! I've never like the blanket oh, actually dear. made me fucking itch. It was literally so. like a Motel Six or yeah. less. Yeah. But they do have. It the was blue crazy. Band group there. Like, do you like blacklight the room when you walk into them? Uh, well, I. I used to like bring my own pillowcases because I don't know, that's just freaky, but no, I don't blacklight the room. Yeah. The what? So, uh, but I do remember the luxury. I, we, when, when we stayed there, you, we met there and I had just flown back into town and you wore some like tight little maroon dress and it looked really good. I don't so I remember, remember that. that. Yeah, I don't I, think I have. There's, you know, oh, I, I do remember, remember that. I remember the way you looked that, in that, that dress. That was for your birthday. We went to the Luxor for your birthday to see Happy Blue Man Group. Happy birthday dress. Happy birthday Blue dress. Man yeah. Yeah. has a yellow shirt that I yeah. remember from when I met her. Yeah. Aww. You know, like once a year we yep. get the happy birthday Talia. dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right, that we get, uh, no. Um, anyways, you, uh, you got Fremont. a new. You oh. got a, you, well, like, yeah, so I, I, let's not. I think that's. I think we covered Vegas for us. Like, stay mm-hmm. at uh, New York, New York, or uh, the Mirage. I like yeah, the Mirage too. or Park MGM go, on the Strip. Go eat at Mabel's. Oh yes, that would just be my definitely. Best one. Okay, show, show, one show. Oh. Oh, I say oh, but like oh, oh is a Cirque du Soleil at the Bellagio. It's the water yes. one. Super fucking good. No spinning dicks. No, sp- no, 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 no tits. No spinning dicks. No, but you, it's not just a spinning dick. It's an upside down spinning dick. Helicopter. Could you like imagine from that? the ceiling? I can't. You know, like, yeah, I can't. Yeah. So Zoomanity and O are close rivals for me. But um, I but, liked O because it was like water, and I just can't believe all the stuff that yeah. the people do underwater. Yeah. But the, you know there was a, there was a I was disappointed in the Beatles show I really was it's that's a, because it's it a wasn't dance routine and I go to Cirque du Soleil to see people risk their fucking lives honestly people or yeah. like like the the trapeze oh. stuff or the gymnastics guys yep. the dude that just like balances on another dude's fucking areolas he just puts <laughs> his pinkies on a dude's nipples and then he does a handstand <laughs> on it like that's what I'm there to see you know I don't want to see people fucking dance to Yellow Submarine so I was like I, I'm drunk for no fucking reason. That yeah, was you know, like, another one of Derek's birthdays is I took him to see the Beatles. I loved it. I had a great so, time. So <laughs> I am also, yeah, doing great her, at her, for his birthday. We, we didn't know. And I do love the Beatles. So it was a good thought. I knew. Yeah. I'd seen that one before with my parents. Oh. <laughs> <She knew. laughs> but, but do you remember, um, Thanks speaking sweater, of, Ma. speaking of surf <laughs> shows, another pair of socks. <laughs> do you remember the um, Mystere? 
Yeah. And who was in Mystere? Uh, remember? Yeah, the baloney amputee yes, guy. Yes, we remember. were like, look, look, that guy is an amputee. And he was in Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. And he was a baloney amputee. And he was like, you would not have known. I just realized you said baloney. For some reason, I thought you were saying baloney. <laughs> I was trying to figure out like, what the fuck is baloney. Fucking, amputee you look at that baloney doing a flip. <laughs> I've never seen baloney, baloney move like that before. BK, BK. Dang. It's common uh, yeah, it's, terminology in our yeah. house, but like yeah. so. Uh, so. So, yeah, we were, there was a baloney amputee there. <laughs> baloney. <and> baloney. <laughs> you can't unhear it. Baloney. What was he doing with baloney? Yeah. Yeah. We should, we should Photoshop our BK friends. Just put a piece of baloney instead of their prosthesis. Be like, I'm a fucking baloney amputee. <laughs> Phony baloney. Ooh, because it's not really like. Oh, yeah. We, we, it's like a pretty, I like it. You know, Phony baloney. If, if you're going to get, a, if you're going to become an amputee, I'd say become a baloney. Amputee, yeah. a phony baloney. I'd rather have a, a phony, like a phony baloney. Uh, Owen just came up with Golly. someone's new Instagram name. Yeah, phony baloney. <laughs> <laughs> just faking my way through life. But anyway, so yeah, there was there was a baloney amputee. <laughs> God damn it! I'll never hear it different now. You know, uh, I'm gonna spit out my baloney water. amputee. Oh man. Um, anyway, he did great. Yeah, and so I we went we went back to our room after the show, and I fucking stalked this dude on Instagram. Like I found the Cirg, and I found the dude, and I I find the dude on Instagram. I go to message him, and be like, dude, impressive as shit. And I opened up my DMs, and we've already talked before. Like, my DMs. Fuck? Yeah, yeah. We're already uh, friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so oh, like, and where do you recommend? Uh, so the only place I've ever stayed on the Strip was the Mirage. <gasps> my favorite. Yep. I, I no, love I take it. that back. I stayed at the oh. Mirage, and then I stayed at. Um, Oh man, it's down. Describe. It's Caddy Corner from New York, New York. Is it? Is that the flamingo? MGM? No, uh, across the street. Oh, Don't Tropicana. Tropicana. Okay. So That's it, it was right when they renovated it. Ah, uh, yes. It was like 20, 2011. Okay. I was on yeah. mid tour from. You've lived here how many times? Or Just you've lived here. You've lived here how many years now? Like a uh, year and a half or so. Not that yeah, long. You, yeah. No, a year and a half. They don't go out. They're like don't. they don't. Go well, they out have four kids. Yeah. Owen has like, four beautiful yeah. children. Yeah. yeah. How no, do you find time? We don't. You, exactly. We well, you know where we go. <laughs> Child care. We hit up the we hit up the uh, the Bass Pro here and go to the free fish tank. <gasps> my kids think it's Disneyland. That's super far south, uh, though, isn't it? Like not for me. I mean, well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. That's where we're at. Yep. Yeah. Fancy, but yeah. another place people go if they don't want to go to the strip or Fremont is Red Rock. So we haven't stayed there because it's super expensive. <laughs> so, but I've read that like celebrities will go. Yeah, where's like that? that level. Red Rock, yeah. it's over on the off two fifteen. Oh, out towards Red Rock. No, no, no. It's like a Red Rock casino and hotel, but it's like super beautiful, super nice, like bowling out. Bowling That's where alley. we go bowling. Yeah. Nice. Um, uh, and then just that area is nice because one of our favorite yeah. restaurants or like places to get drinks in town is a uh, public school. Is yeah. It's so it's there? in Summerlin yeah. area, like by the Sweet, aviators. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, people yeah. aren't from Las Vegas. Yeah. I'll totally check so. it out when my kids grow up and move. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you Sick. have a, quite if a few still years. There in Twenty, you fucking yeah. count me in. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But mm -hmm. we've this is our fourth summer. When, when's your birthday, or when's Talia's birthday? Hers is in August, August tenth. When, when's yours? On um, March 29th <laughs> You did oh, think shit. about yeah, it. Yeah, you told um, me last week. Yeah, I said remind. I said remind me that morning. Yep. that's what we should do. We should get you guys like a twenty-four hour nanny, and we go out. Oh my god! You know, it's like we'll get who them we go out. Oh, all yeah. four of us. I yeah. was like, who's yeah. we? We're going we'll just, out. We'll just we'll, guy, we'll get you like a day nanny, and then get you a night nurse. Yeah, there's night nurses. Yeah. Like they're kind we of expensive, know what to but do. yeah. Pick. We no. Any, like, yeah, yeah, maybe maybe we'll get you uh, your own rooms. <laughs> that would be great. Like, and you guys can sit there and text each other. They're like, yeah, yeah. Are you stretched out on the whole bed and then, too? And then uh, Talia's like, hey, can you grab milk on your way home? Ah, oh, fuck. God, uh, habit. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are those are our Las Vegas recommendations. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At some point, we should probably. Um, well, you know, I, I kind of want. Um, this uh, my day today. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. How you how you feeling? I got my fucking ass kicked today. You did. And, and my my uh, uh, my workout this morning was just one of those days. It was just we're like so we're in the training cycle and Brandon's rule is you get two bad days. This was my second bad day, but this was like the worst. When was day. the when was the I don't first? know. I think I what happened a, to three strikes you're out like yeah I don't yeah like, I don't you know he definitely stops doesn't. caring after you start doing poorly you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, you know I was like uh, man dude today was just. 
I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I showed up and I was like, so here, here's the thing. So we kind of talked about this, you know, with my, um, with my prosthesis, my socket, it's, it's so tight right now. And yeah. it's kind of like, I'm having this hard time. I'm, I'm this training cycle. I'm having a super hard time balancing everything. I'm doing powerlifting and CrossFit. I'm trying to stay lean, but I got to eat enough to be strong and I have to maintain weight to fit in my socket. And so it's kind of like, you're on like a razor's edge because if you consume any sort of alcohol, you swell. If yeah. you eat too much sugar, so, your body does something else. Yeah. And so and it I, doesn't fit. I yeah. went to Breckenridge, Colorado this past weekend and it was like, man, I, I, I know I was telling you the whole time. I was like, we know me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to do my best. And really, I only drank a fair amount on Saturday. So I was there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I was I got I got all my workouts in Friday. Yep. And uh, but, you know, Saturday came around. I was like, I'm on fucking I've. I don't come to Breckenridge, Colorado every yeah. day. And so it's kind of like... Yeah, he, he went into it saying like, oh, I'm in a training plan. Yeah. I'm in prep, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm not going to do anything. And I was like, I mean, are you trying to break records or what? So... I, I said I'll do my best. And that was me saying like, we know... Or like, we value... Well, let's be realistic. Yeah, like, yeah, like, you're on vacation. Yeah. yeah, have fun. You don't need to get blackout drunk. But like, why would you not just have like a couple drinks? Right, yeah. And oh man, it was like... So my Saturday started, I had... Uh, I was just like, you know what? Okay, I do it like once a year, and this was worth it. I had some great country fried steak. Oh, oh I God. was so good. I put it on Instagram and I tagged uh, Bert. <laughs> Bert. Yeah. yeah. If you don't follow uh, Bert Koontz and his company Bison Union, that's that's he's one of my favorite. I was just talking to him before this actually. So uh, and then I had a couple breakfast mules, and then I drank at the ski lift. Breakfast mules. They were that. good. Was, I didn't know. Yeah, that it was, was like a, a Moscow mule with like fruit juice and an orange or something like that. But like fruit and juice and an orange or yeah. something like that. <laughs> yeah. Well. Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, but so like, yeah, I enjoyed myself and then I, and then flying makes me swell too. So I came home, my like, my leg, my stump was probably like two inches from the bottom of my socket on Sunday yeah. and yesterday. And it's f- supposed to fit snugly at the bottom, you know, but it's just, yeah. So yesterday I was, uh, I was trying to do everything I can to, uh, you know, get, get some water weight out and things like that. I was wearing my leg all day and it was just like my fucking, I was in a lot of pain yesterday. It sucked. And so this morning it was still it was still a good inch, half inch from the bottom. And I just knew, you know, and so this morning on the program, it was a uh, uh, two rep max at 440. Big numbers today. We're talking about deadlifts. Yeah. Yep. So I was supposed to hit uh, 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 two at 440 and then we dropped down seven by one. So seven singles at 425 pounds. And how much are you weighing now? Like, like 176, 178. Okay. I need to get down to 176. 178 is a little bit too tight, but you know what? None of this would be a fucking problem if I had the feet that I'm supposed to have. So I had three legs because yep. I have a bigger socket that I could wear all the time. What's with, wrong with this foot? No, I have other legs that have oh, no feet. So I have, oh. I have three leg pieces and three sockets and one of the sockets is bigger mm-hmm. but i only have one foot so tell, tell them the story of, of when, when you showed up to go get the other foot yeah well like i got a whole new i got a whole new fucking setup and i brought it to my prosthetist you know the va they ordered me all this stuff Come pick up and then the stuff. prosthetist comes back and he's like this is a left foot and for, yeah, so and I'm missing my right foot. I don't need a left foot. So yeah. How awkward you but, have two you know, left I think feet. Like this morning, I <laughs> literally was, two left feet. This morning, I was probably like visibly frustrated and short tempered and in pain and things like that. Like yeah, I was trying to stay positive. You had also like, just sat in traffic for an hour and a half because yeah. it um, rained in Las Vegas today, and everybody loses Lord. their fucking mind. On the yeah, freeway. it's like I it's, drive super slow when it rains here because I don't trust people. There were no accidents. There, there was, was nothing. There's nuts. fucking well, nothing. You don't. Know what the other people but are people gonna are, do? It's rain. They're gonna. I just know drive it's rain. Forward. No, that's <laughs> yeah. not true because the oil and the water the does roads. not get yep. absorbed into our ground. So it, yeah, it does not get absorbed. People slide everything. It's like snow. It might as well be ice. Yeah. I thought but, that's why you were. I thought it was the traffic that added well, to it. Probably, so, yeah. so also, so like I drive with my left foot and my ankle is rotated, you know. Yep. And because we were driving so slow, I couldn't just roll cruise control. So my foot was on the gas for an hour and ten minutes before I had to deadlift with that one foot. So it was just kind of like the perfect storm of frustration. Like, and I was it like that. Should just like shit tests you sometimes, you know. So, anyways, I told like I told Brandon, my coach, when I walked in, I was like, hey man. 
life is coming at me. Like my stomp is killing me. I don't fit. He don't care. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, <laughs> did not care. One bit. But I, you know, I, I told him, I was like, if it, I'm going to do my best, but if it doesn't go well, it just, it might just be one of those days. And it turned out to be one of those days, you know? So here's how my 440 by two went. It went 440 by one. I think I missed it three times. And then I hit it again, and that rep took like 20 seconds or something. Yeah, there were two of them that that you did that where you just got like stuck in the middle. But but dude, like, so like I was in fucking so much pain this morning. Mm -hmm. And I, when I pulled the 440, I just didn't want to quit. I didn't want to quit. Like I was going, but like after that, my body had just like, it was done, you know? And I was in pain. As soon as I got into position, my stump just fucking hurt so bad. And so I was supposed to do seven singles at 425 and I didn't hit any. Did I, I did one and then I missed like three. Yep. And then we dropped down to 375 and I hit two there. Yep. We bump up to 395 and I missed all of those. Yep. And then, so I had three deadlifts to do yet. And Brandon said, you're done. So that doesn't happen often. Like when, when Brandon, you know, when, when my coach is just like, Hey, you're done. And we moved on to the accessory movements and things like that. But it's like, that's a fucking, that's, I hate that defeating feeling. Because I was trying to stay positive, but like shit just wasn't working. You, you know? were, but then the before the accessory movements, we did the, or you did. I say we, like I was there doing <laughs> we, the fucking it is workouts. It I was is holding me. the camera. I was, <laughs> I was there. You were doing the squats. And you were crushing yeah. those. Yeah, oh, those before were, he did the deadlifts? No, no. So it went deads and then it went uh, squats. Today, no, all in one yeah. day. Yeah, see? Yeah. But uh, so, and those went, but that was just like three doubles at 185. And I tried to get out of those because my stump is so, you saw my stump yeah, it today. Was it was like purple yep. and fucking just chafed like a motherfucker. It looked like your feet after a road march, like after a foot march. Mm. Where you take through the off. swamp. Yeah. yeah. Through just the like swamp, bruised and not purple. Your socks. Yeah. yeah wet. It was bad. And so, in the, in its, in its bending, right now that that when i bend my leg it's that bottom position so at the bottom of the squat it just fucking hurts and i was like brandon i don't want to squat today he's like hey you got to squat today i was like god damn it and so like those <laughs> went good those felt good but dude these these deadlifts this whole prep are fucking kicking my ass they're they're just they're kicking well my you're ass. also how many pounds lighter yeah. than last time like, yeah, so you were, you were way bigger than uh, he was over two for sure right yep. like Weren't oh you yeah, I was this time last year I weighed 210 pounds. Yeah, and now you're 178. <laughs> which, you just which said. Which would be what if you had two legs? Probably like 235, 240. Okay. Yeah, at five six. That's. I was gonna thick. say you're yeah. not that tall, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thick. Yeah. So. Um, calling man, I just, in thick today. Dude, I almost. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling in thick today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Oh my god, that'd be a funny music video remake where you call in thick. And then it's just you eating donut balls in bed. Ooh. I'm calling it thick today. I, I got that from a meme. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I, did, I didn't come oh, up with shit. it. I wish I did. I'm calling I am it not that thick funny. Today. Hey, boss, can't come to work. I got the fat. <laughs> yeah. I fucking, I've, been try, I've been on this diet. I've been doing a good job. Last night I had Dairy Queen at 9.37 p.m. And it's still sitting ass. in my tummy. And I just can't come to the office this Aww, morning. Oh, boo hoo. Yeah. I feel you. <laughs> Stay home, honey. Yeah. Last night, Stacy <laughs> sent me a picture. Oh, um, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> uh, well, it was, I, I, I identified. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Now that sounds even more horrible than it actually no, was. No, it sounds fucking great. <laughs> it sounds amazing. But yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I identified a restaurant by the bag. And it, wasn't, it didn't have any markings on it. It's just because it bag. doesn't have it did, markings. There was, there was, it, was, it was a picture of. She was hanging out on the floor. There's a bottle of wine and a brown bag with a fuck ton of grease. And I was like, Five Guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah I it was. I identified the I five love guys. Five Guys. Based on the texture of the bag and the consistency of the grease, I'm going to say that's Five Guys. <laughs> you calling in thick tomorrow? <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't so, think I had any sweets, though. So that's good. Stacy for Lent, she has given up. Any eating establishment with a drive through. Yeah. And so there's a nice little five guys loophole in there, you know? Yeah, because they don't have a drive through. Five five guys doesn't have a drive through, yeah. so I can definitely yeah. have that. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, like, I, you know what? Like, I, on the way home, I almost cried like three times. I was in a lot of pain and I was just like mentally fucking broken from. You good there? Yeah. Owen's got to fix camera things. Oh, dear. That one went off. We're good. 
You're good to go? This one's good. <clears throat> okay, sure. Owen um, does all the technologies. And totally fucked it up. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm no, not going to help no, you. No, we're good. Yeah, okay. no, we're wrong. Yeah. No, so any, the, point, the point is today was like that day where it's just like, I want to quit. Or it just, everything fucking, everything went badly. I felt horrible. But you know what? It was kind of like this cool feeling because I wasn't overwhelmed with like, thoughts of quitting or something like that no you didn't not because for one sec look like there's you just quitting. but even like you know it's but like quitting the prep not doing the nope. competition or something like that because i was just like you know what there's just some easy changes a lot of this is because of the weekend in colorado you know and it's like i just gotta i gotta really clean up my diet and we're going to san diego march 20 to 22nd yeah and i told i was like we're kind of like celebrating our anniversary slash going to uh, the West Coast Classic. And I was like, what if we go to San Diego, but then like really celebrate our anniversary after my meet? Because like one day of drinking is just fucking, that hurt. Today hurt so yeah. bad. And I just, it was, it was tough. It was just one of those days where it's just fucking. That's three days? Was today's Tuesday? Colorado. Yeah. 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 So Saturday. So I, had my, I haven't had a drink since Saturday. But and, that's uh, three days. I'm still paying the You're price for it. Price. I mean, but it, more than drinking, it was you were at altitude, which flying. is a huge difference. And then you were flying, traveling, different time zones. That yeah. really takes a but toll so, so, on anyone's body. Yeah, and so this is, I think this is, you know, last, it's, it's easy to be healthy and fit, like work out casually and eat moderately. For you. Well, no, no, like <laughs> just, if you don't want, like, if you don't want to do elite level shit. It's not, it's not like what I did last year in my, is like, it's not asking too much from people just to like hit the gym and eat pretty good, you know? But, but in this training cycle, like where we're at, like this 440 by two shit next week, 450 by one, it's like, there is no room for fucking. Yeah. That's not like normal people. Right like this is yeah. elite. This is, you know, this is competition. This is the real deal. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, if you don't do things right, you're not going to get the results that you want. And like, you know, so it's at the end of the day, like. Pulling 440 at all, it's 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 good. It's nothing to yeah. like fucking hate myself over, but like I want to do better, and so I I I have to listen to my own, I, I listen to my own advice, and we we talked about it on the show. It's like yep. all I got to do is what I know I need to do. Yep. There's some, and it's just like now I'm four weeks out from competition. There's just no room for error. I'm just gonna like I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat today if I don't do everything right for a while. So would, what? Go ahead. It would suck to get all the way to April 4th and have have still been paying the price for a Saturday three weeks ago that yeah. could have got you a little bit further yeah. ahead and you're like, fuck, man, yeah. I wish I wouldn't have had all those right. beers. Or, but or if I wasn't in a training cycle like for this oh, competition, yeah. I'd, I'd go to the gym with my leg off and just, you know, like hit yeah. some shit and be it's comfortable different. and wait for it, you know? So it's just like, oh yeah, but like I haven't been in a training cycle in a while and it's just kind of a reminder. It's like, you gotta yeah. do everything right. There's a lot of room for fucking fun having when you're just trying to be like regular old healthy and fit, you know. And when you got a but, finite goal that is based off performance, like a like exactly. a meet or something like that, which is cool, yeah. like yeah. That, that you're doing that and you have that yeah. that measurement of like success or yeah whatnot. So yeah. what are you gonna do? You just said clean up your diet, yeah, which is or, which is funny to hear you say because you're probably one of the cleanest eaters I've ever met. That's why I'm, I'm asking because yeah, it's like, like what's what, left to give up? Exactly, what exactly do you mean? So, and we talked you, about yeah. it earlier and so today. So I was gonna I was gonna be like, well, instead of eating hash browns, I'll start eating salads. But it's like, no, I fit in my leg when I eat hash browns. Yeah, I don't. All I gotta all I gotta do is not do what I did Friday and Saturday. I just like stick to like I, yeah, my system is down. I just gotta yes. stick to my fucking system. I don't have to change things up, really, you know. Exactly. So it's just you gotta just recover pretty more, quick yeah. to get back to yeah. what you were yeah. on Friday. It's like, but you know what? So that's a human mm. response. Like people hit the fucking panic button, and like so. That's I, what I'm saying. Don't do anything insanely different, like drastic changes, because they're don't they're you don't have to make these drastic changes yeah. and that's going to shock your body even more. If you're like, you I'm going to eat salads. Right? Like Maybe Derek does not is, eat salads. This is why so. people go to keto, you know, <laughs> like, cause they just hit the fucking panic button. And that's yeah. what, that's what it is. Is like, you know, I was like, I would, so I ate my fucking skillet today. I put my Good. foot down. I was like, no, I'm eating my fucking skillet. I, I know. Cause it's like, it's, it's that balance between eating for strength and fitting in my leg right now. I'll tell you what though, I might really scale back on the CrossFit the next four weeks. I've been doing some pretty solid 
CrossFit conditioning work through this whole prep, but now the numbers are so fucking big. Maybe it's time for that second workout to just become like steady state cardio at the gym. I still want to move and sweat. I like going to the gym twice a day, but you know, it's hard to pull 440 in the morning and then go do, you know, like, or just it's now it's time to maybe like maximize my strength potential a little bit. Yeah. Are you three weeks out or is it four? I have three weeks of training left and then peak week. And then the meat. You said you said something interesting in the gym just to like count the days differently. You were like, I've got three days, three deadlift days left before the meat. Yeah. Like, and so it's like, so That's now, oh, yeah, now I only lot. now I only no, have two. Don't yes. say that. So next week I have a <laughs> That's not a lot. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. And so it's it's time. It's time to just like hunker down and like and we also said last week we said distractions fuck up your discipline yep. well like distractions are killing my focus yeah my dis it's like my discipline is there but like distractions are killing my focus but we have a lot of so it's like and i'm not tr- like i i think above all i always try to say i'm not unique i think people like distractions right. fuck with people's focus i'm i'm just like everybody else you know I'm in, and it's just like okay but like i just got to cut out distractions for a little while you know yep. like everybody has distractions right for three it's weeks like, can you can you shut it down for a little yeah. bit like, are we going to lose our house or go hungry or yep. something? Like, what's what What if I just fucking focused on yeah. this? And that's the thing, too, is you can't go back in time. So you can't be like, man, if I didn't have that beer on Saturday. Right. No, like, no, that's yeah. pointless. That's it, absolutely pointless. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, you can't unring it. I regret them. Like, I'm in a lot of pain and today sucked. But, like, I I would, like, I had a great time yeah. Saturday. Yeah. So I move on. Hanging out with, yeah. yeah. Pull up your boots. Yeah. Whatever they say. Change your socks. I know. Go. So that's, yeah. So, like. Sock. I actually, maybe I'm coming along as a person because like today was like a break somebody's spirit day and I stayed pretty okay because I kind of just like think like that, Mm -hmm. but it's like that back and forth. So it's like, you know, like for real, I'm in my car like, (laughs) no, Derek, you can do this. Like just fucking take it, like take it. But it, you know, it's hard to, um, pain makes you just kind of like, you have very little patience when you're in pain and I'm going on like day day two of being in solid nonstop pain and it just it like you're well especially when it's like voluntary pain like you are choosing to put yourself through that pain yeah but then you get but then you get the woe is me like if i had better fucking care here i'd have the socket that fits better yeah these are ish but then but then the blame is on me because i'm not a good advocate for myself right and so it's like it all comes back to so like the it it's all on me you know and so that means it's within my control to fix yep you know and so it's like hey and I got fucking time to fix it. And, you know, so it's, it was, um, it's, it's nice to, uh, um, so all these things we share, or all the things I share, it's just like, it's nice to know I'm, I feel, it felt good. As shitty as today was, I was kind of like proud of myself for staying in it mentally. You yeah. Know? yeah. No, you, you, I was shooting it and, and I was like, at the end, you're like, man, that just, that wasn't really good. I was like, yeah, but like, I basically filmed you pushing through something that yeah. was kicking your ass. Yes. <laughs> I got kind of fucking. We cool. were there for like three hours this yeah. morning. We, it it's was a long. So, I didn't get <laughs> home till like eleven thirty or something like that. Yeah, I left my house at six fifty for one workout. I didn't go home till eleven thirty. That was a fucking. I don't know. I don't remember ever getting my ass kicked like that so badly in a workout. But I'm not good at that. Like enduring. I especially if it's voluntary. I'm like, I don't have to do this workout. Like, what am I doing? Mm-hmm. I don't need to put myself through this pain. And I think that's a common response. Is, I'll just do it tomorrow. Yeah, like I'll just pick up exactly. Again I don't need to be doing this. Like, and for what? Uh, I mean, so for for every minute. That was my thought yeah. process for fifty-seven seconds. Yep. And so I, but and so I went up. Uh, like I missed a lot of deadlifts today, but I fuck. I used as all the brain power I had. And I walked in today, and I told Brandon, I was like, "Hey, I am limited on brain power. I'm gonna do my best." You know. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, Brandon said something towards the end of the workout. And he was like, "Yeah, it was all mental." He was kind of like saying like what my problem was. I was like, "Or you guys were talking, and I overheard it." And, or maybe it was him and Rick, oh, yeah. but yeah, the, yeah. Brandon was like, yeah, it's all mental. And I was like, Hey, in my defense, I showed up today and told you I'm going to have a very poor mental day. Yeah. You know? So you didn't call in thick. I didn't call in thick. I should have called it. I called in thick yesterday. My stump was real thick yesterday. Yeah. So, yeah. That was different. So like I was supposed yeah. to hit this workout yesterday. Yesterday I would have no chance because my stump was like two inches from the bottom. Yeah. You know? So I, yesterday I lived my life with the one goal of trying to get my stump as small as possible. It came along. But so anyways, it was, it was just one of those days. And I think, um, uh, 
people just have those days, man. I think, we, I think everyone's got those days. Yeah, those that there. It is hard to stay in the game. Yep. And um, I think it takes practice. Um, just, just Definitely. you know, like you know. So it's like, hey, tomorrow's a new day, mm-hmm. and it's not an excuse. It's not a reason to quit, and it's not an excuse to do poorly. I didn't punish myself today. I didn't give nope. up. I didn't say fuck. You know, just because I had bad deadlifts, I didn't eat a fucking tub of ice cream. You know, that's like, what I would have done. Uh, yeah, well, like I, you want, you want <laughs> to do. I'm gonna natu- reward myself. You naturally right. want to do up. things like that. Like well, I yeah. do all the time. I'm like, yeah. you ate some salmon. You can have a Kit Kat, like yeah. you just said. Like, wait, what? Stacy barters with herself. Like, that's, like, the a lot of people do. Yeah, but that's 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 your. Di- but you do really like you have a good balanced lifestyle. I think when so. You do. You do. You're not doing as much fit. Like you're getting back on track now. Like it depends. Work, workouts. Yeah. And and some. Or you're Stacy's on the verge. The verge of what? The verge. She, she, she's got the desire to start doing better. Yeah. But you just got to wait till you naturally get there. You can't just yeah. like fucking force that or rush that. Or I'm also like changing jobs and things. So it's like I, I'm i there. I know where I need to be. I just need to like truly cut out the time in my day. So that is that is up to me. And I can, I can make the time. So I just have to stop. Her new job, you know, she's on Nellis excuses. there. And she, mm-hmm. she can get maybe, uh, maybe I'll start meeting her at the gym on Nellis. Yeah. Uh, once or twice a week. That'd be really yeah, cool. Yeah. I, I like working out. But like over the, you know, like her, at her old job, we, when we moved to Vegas, we basically like stopped working out together because of your job. And then, yeah. And then you got fucking pregnant. And then you had fucking kids. Yeah. And it was just like everything's been lame. You know, throw a wrench in boys, life. I, I haven't seen them. And like, how are your How are your kids? How are your kids doing? They're yeah. great. Yeah. Jack go. is walking. I know. Why does that Max? was a weak one? Yeah, well, I was trying not to pee. I got to pee really bad. <laughs> Max so is like, doing a thing right now where oh my god, he farts, dude. and I think it's hilarious. So no, I laugh at him. I say you tooted, and then he laughs and laughs. This is not the story. This okay, is the, the story. Okay, no, the story. Max likes to fart when you're changing his diaper. Oh. So it's like, and I think so it's, it's like, funny. So it's like open butthole wink. But his, <laughs> he, he just, he tries hard. He tries so hard to fart uh, to make When her he's on the diaper he changing table. You know, they're way past peeing on the changing table. Right. But now he's pissing all over the He'll place. He'll push again. so pushing hard trying so hard to fart, fart. Yeah. because he knows I'm yeah. going to laugh and then he pees all over yeah. the place. And dude, I was, you know, like, it, was, it was just like, and he doesn't do it with me. He does it with Stacy. But just I, last night, I, I, was, yeah. I was changing him and I was like, why is this motherfucker's butthole moving? <laughs> and then I looked at his face and his face was like, <laughs> he turns trying. red and his stomach tenses up. He, he tries committed. so hard because, to fart. Yeah, that's and my then he fault. Starts peeing. Yeah, but I you conditioned know, him just, into this. I was like, you know what, dude? You might get that from me. I can appreciate I that. That's, that. I love that. That's One of I the think first lessons funny. TV ever learned was uh, to never trust a fart because they started playing that game. And oh, I think a couple times God. they were like, oh. Have you ever pooped your pants in your adult life? Um, We're talking. I would say. I would say, fifteen years old and higher. Pooped your pants. That's not an adult. But anyway, I think I. I think I may have had like a like legit shart on a run at some point <laughs> in the army. You don't or, remember? Well, I guess you're old. Like your memories faded. Like the, the well, that the, and brain yeah. injury and all sure, that. Like yeah. my memory. Oh, that old fucking fart. Here we go. No, I just kidding. Yeah, I just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I. I think. I think on a run somewhere, like the old PT shorts, yeah. I had the underwear built in. Definitely caught yeah. some. Uh, I pooped my pants at Target one time. At Target? Yeah. That's crazy. Dude, I was really, it was, but I was like. There's a bathroom at Target. I was, do you want to, you want to, yeah. So, it, well, actually, I was, um, I was. Uh, was uh, I with you? No, I was in, okay, I was, I was, I was like, in high school. Wow. I must have been like, I must have been 16 or 17 years old. And I was just kind of like, I was a nerdy kid, you know, but I was, I was super high with my body. I was going to say, were you high? Was that was fucking, my second we were, question. I was stoned and I had to go to, I had to get a pregnancy test. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was at Target and I fucking hid the pregnancy test in my hoodie. But once we got up to the conveyor belt, I was just the like the conveyor <laughs> belt. <laughs> or what's it called? The thing there. The checkout line? Yeah. I don't know. Not, mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, well, yeah, so I, you know, so as soon as I took it out of my hoodie and put it on the thing, the woman looked at me and I was like, <laughs> and I laughed so hard. I was like, oh. 
Holy shit. You Little fucking turd came laugh. off. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I had a, I had a, I had a startle poop. Yeah. Now had, you can I just check a, out on your own. I can just, you don't yeah. need to give it to oh, somebody. Yeah, yeah, Isn't right? that no nice for teens yeah. these they days? Yeah. <laughs> there was an epidemic of people shitting fucking themselves. Poop. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good God. Fucking poop, man. Yeah, That's a that great story. Yeah. I, was, I don't know what I was thinking about that, but, you know. Poop. Oh, because we were talking about Max. Yeah. Jack oh, yeah. is walking. Max is not. Yeah. That's okay. He's got a big head. Yeah. Yeah, one of our one of our boys is walking now, and that's a fucking the big head one or the little head one. The little head, the little head, head one. one. Yeah, the big head one's a little top heavy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. gonna he's t- comfy. He'll top over. He's comfy over. sitting down where he's at. He is. He'd he'll prefer to just up. crawl. Oh, he'll fucking walk anywhere. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So when you uh, when um, you're gonna do any of what? What are you? Who's who's gonna write you a training program, or what are you gonna do when you start working out here a little bit more again? You're just kind of Who's like going to write me a training program? I don't know. You? Yeah, well, sorry. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> like, are you going to do one of our training programs? Like, hey, like, I, know, a I know a guy. Program? Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Is that what you're going to try to do is like CrossFit workouts? Oh, yeah, I do CrossFit. Yeah. I'm more comfortable doing CrossFit just because I don't like doing strictly cardio. I'm too old for that anyways, I think. <laughs> And do you like going to the gyms or do you like the home workout stuff? I like home workout stuff. Yeah, because you were you were working out here in the garage. For, yeah, for I don't. So this is I, all Stacy's. Like, yeah, really. I, I've, yeah. I've, you know, I, I was working out. I've only worked out here a little bit since we've had the boys. But I definitely prefer or I would need a couple more things to have it like. But we did a really nice job. It's like nicely decorated. Yeah, in here I. Like I love CrossFit workouts, but I don't particularly enjoy going to CrossFit gyms or some people call them boxes. Stacy hates when I, people are like cheering for me. In CrossFit, I hate it. You know, in CrossFit, as you're finishing a workout, people will come over and be like, "All right, come on, you can do this." Yeah. Stacy hates that. So when I see it happen, I'm like, "You motherfuckers need to stop because you're only going to make my life." Do you know why hard. though? I hate it because this is mostly the reason. I hate it because. I I hit all the movements. I count every rep. If you, I don't hit the rep, do I do count. it again. And I I do everything correctly. And then I look over and I shouldn't say this, but I'll see someone else who's half assing something and it pisses me off and they're done like 10 minutes before I am and I'm like Okay, you know, and so then I get frustrated and it's just like other people bother me and get into my head and that's ridiculous. So I prefer to just work at home. Like I shouldn't let other people bother me, but that's just the person that I am. Well, like, you know, you know, when I like when I do Murph and I'm on crutches, you know, and yeah. like people will pass by and they're like, come on, man, you can do this. It's like, I fucking know. Yeah. Like, I know. Thanks. I know I can do this. I'm doing it. I, there's not, I know I'm going to do it. Like what? Like, but like people, but mean, some people, people mean well when they it. say things yeah. like that, but it, like sometimes it can feel patronizing or like, you know, that's, what, always, it, that's what it is I've to always, me. Th- I've always like tried to tell you, like, just ignore those people when they come and try to cheer you on. Yeah. But it does a At frustrate gyms, slash annoy me yeah. when I'm on my crutches doing like a race or something. And people are like, come on, man, hang in there. It's like, I'm doing f- exactly what I want yeah. to do right now. And like, the weird thing is, is that I cheer for people like a lot. And yeah. so I, I really enjoy doing that, especially with Derek, like all of his meets, everything, all of his CrossFit competitions, I'm like screaming where I lose my voice, but I don't like when people do that for me. And my my, <laughs> my sister is super like, she's an intense cheerleader. Oh yeah. And it was like oh, one yeah. time she went over and started like cheering Stacy on like real close. To no, 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 and no. Like, <laughs> and I was like, Katie, knock that shit Don't off. Don't do it. Cause yeah. like Stacy will never come back to this gym. She'll she get was, so mad. <laughs> Katie was my judge. Derek's sister was my judge for this last open. And she knew at that point, like we've known each other long enough now where she was like, okay, I know not to cheer for her. Yeah. Or she knew like the right times to does, cheer Katie, for Katie's me. Katie's like, doesn't try to encourage her. So she's just like, that was okay. Uh, that was yeah. all right. Well, I mean, no. It was good for like, what it was. Like, or, do you want, do you want like mediocre input or do you just want nothing? <laughs> do you want silence? It's like, that. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I can deal with silence, but yeah, also yeah. if people are like, if they're adjusting me along the way saying like, do this longer, hit that more or whatever, then it's like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Like, I feel like I take criticism well during, but I don't like when people cheer for me. No, you know, I, I can't stand, you know, like I never, like in high school, I didn't like the volleyball teams or the softball teams, the girls like, come on ladies. That's always fucking annoyed the shit yeah. out of me. Like women CrossFit cheerleaders at the gym 
when like when somebody's trying to hit a squat and like the girls start screaming, it fuck it makes me it I hate it. I hate hearing it. I hate hearing it. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Like I like CrossFit. I, I really, love CrossFit. But, I really, really do. But I am there's not. There's things that make it really fucking pathetic. I love getting cheered for. I'm just gonna be there. See, yeah, so I I, it fucking pumps me up. And yeah, so some people like have to have someone with them to work out, or they need someone to be a cheerleader. And that's great that you just know that about yourself. Talia, I don't. Talia saw a thing the other day because uh, I'm addicted to TikTok at the moment. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. And, oh my oh, god, and, it's like. So it's, embarrassing. It's my quiet time. I just sit there and laugh at four second videos. But there was a chick. You know, there's porn on the internet. I don't right? care. Like, also, I don't the Chinese care. know everything about you now. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. They there already did. There was a girl who posted a video of her hyping up her husband. Of like, good job shutting the door, baby. Good job. <laughs> and Talia heard it and heard me laughing so hard that for the next two days she just hyped me up over you the shut most much shit out of that door. I fucking loved it. Men need a lot of. I uh, fucking loved it. A lot of that around you the house. The- you unloaded the dishes. Good job, honey. Yep. <laughs> Fucking work. That's what I said to her the three times a month she unloaded the dishes. <laughs> oh, God. No, I can't do the dishes in the dishwasher here because I don't do them right. Derek that's, has that's a, a certain way. That's a picture we need way. to do, like a meme picture. It's like man loads dishwasher and everything is like No, only organized. you do it and that way. And I want way. to take a picture where we put like dishes just upside down and backers. And oh, that's put, how I do it. We put some food. See? We put, I want to put one of the kids in there. It's like women, like <laughs> women don't like the, you know, our, uh, no, yeah. he no, has crazy OCD. Shitty fucking I'm a, oh, dude, fucking I throw that shit in there. And it, like, goes in there and it goes in there and it gets horrible. clean. Yeah. He oh, does so, the dishes yeah. before he puts them in the dishwasher. Well, you know why? Because when you do the dishes, I have to do the dishes after <laughs> you put them in the dishwasher. Not true. Yeah. Because yeah. like Stacy, Stacy makes fun of me for scrubbing fucking dishes before I put them in. She's like, that's so stupid. You have to wash them twice and then I wake up and she did the dishwasher and there's just like shit caked on the spatula I was like this is literally washing it three times guess guess what guess what I do I rinse my dishes after I use them. I like cook. Oh, I cook. You. I cook oh, and you. rinse. I cook oh, and you. rinse and all that stuff. Oh, and you. this dude leaves oh, his you. stuff right. on the counter for right. three days, and so, then he's like, okay. "Time to do the dishes." All right. Okay. <laughs> Okay. This is a fight, oh, a wider yeah. argument. This is oh, come, dear. I feel no, this like is, this, this has come just, up before. This is, well, oh. no, this is just husband and wife stuff. This is everything, you know? <laughs> like, we're not even, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. I do the same thing. I just throw the shit in there, and then I, I leave, and the kitchen's clean. Magically. And then I'll turn, right, because it's, it's all in the dishwasher now. And I'll turn around, and Talia is redoing the dishwasher uh. like, to organize it. And I just don't see the well, point. Dude, like, I don't either. There's, you know, like, that's what we do. We, like, we'll put, like, <laughs> a woman loading a dishwasher, and it's, like, a cup, and then a bowl on top of the cup, and then a bigger bowl on top of the bowl. That, I like, don't do that. No motherfuckers understand the water comes up from below, right? And, like... <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will also run the dishwasher with like two things in it. And that he does it. that too. Yeah. Well, when it's time to fucking yeah. Hey, it's yeah, done, and there's yeah. no other like cups or bowls of cereal or yeah. other shit mm-hmm. the kids messed up. Like yeah. it's d- getting washed. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, yeah. Mm-mm. It's just funny because I grew up. I grew up washing dishes by hand and things like that. I did too. I always yeah. asked my parents for a dishwasher like every Christmas, every birthday, and they said you're the dishwasher. And That's I was what like, my dad did that fucking bullshit uh, to me. I wanted a fucking snowblower. Cause out, you know, like up in Minnesota, you oh, got a fucking, you fuck got a fucking yeah. snow, or you got a shovel three, four times a yeah. day sometimes. Yep. And I'm like, Dad, why can't we get a snowblower? He's like, it doesn't do a good enough job. Guess what? Fucking I don't think happened we had one either. The day we fucking both left the house, like the, he got a snowblower. Fuck like, yeah, fuck, he did. you know, he had such a Same. high standard, but yep. he couldn't live up to it. That was my dad. You know, he, yep. he gets out. He's like, shit, this is a lot of fucking work. Holy fuck, this. fuck. Yeah. When did this think, get so think, hard? think I'm gonna get me a snowblower it's, now. But that's why we had kids. We had kids Sears. so they could wash your liners and, yeah. you know, do, do chores, yeah. dishes. We're in this for the farm hands. We don't have a farm, but <laughs> or, like that doesn't, yeah, that's uh, my plan. yeah, you know, I was right. Yeah. I guess like soon as like the kids would be Declan, does he help with chores at all or oh, He's dude, six. Declan is a fucking worker, man. Five? How, how old is he? Five He's or six? Six. six. Yeah. yeah. Is that about, cause that's about, you know, like I grew oh, up, yeah, they I grew can up do with chores, chores at six. and the stickers for your $2. 
allowance. Oh, every do, fucking does Declan Saturday. get allowance? Um, so Declan's so funny right now. He wants to. He's constantly trying to figure out ways to make money. And so oh, because like, you're teaching him. That's totally why him. he's like listening. He's, yeah. he's filmed uh, Derek before. Yeah. Like, so one of the things he wants to do is make videos for people. He Aww. wants to sell his art. So that way Aww. people will buy his art. Oh like the kids God. just like, dude, he's a freaking entrepreneur. It is so, so... What if we because like, he's growing what if, what if, up hearing you though, totally. like other kids probably don't no, have like that. The conversations we have in the yeah. house are like about how to how to you know create uh, content. He's or how learning to do. so much. We should much. release one of his shirt designs and let him keep all the money. Oh dude, my god, so god. Yeah. his dream yeah. would be yeah. you know, like I'll send him a contract. He can yeah. keep five percent. <laughs> oh yeah. my Welcome god. to the world. Welcome <laughs> to, you got to read that contract, buddy. <laughs> no, you don't know how to read. <laughs> you got to. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta pay Lesson attention to this contract, buddy. So it's no, like the contract says he owes me twenty bucks at the end of it. Dude, you know, like, <laughs> he asks shit yeah. like, like we're teaching him to read, and and he's like, uh, why do I need to learn this? And be like, buddy, you got to learn how to read so that way you know how like your equipment works, and you yeah. can learn how, like, like there's oh, reasons yeah. why. Okay, I guess that makes sense. You got to learn how to read so that way you don't get fucked over by Derek when you're selling your t-shirts on his yeah. website. But question. So I was talking to an LT who is going to have babies soon. And we were talking about why does the West put so much emphasis on reading at such a young age? Because what do they need to read? So like they need to be doing and learning other things. I think. Yeah, those motherfuckers are learning like goddamn algebra in fifth grade. What, one of the things I think. So it's sure you can learn math by like stacking things and all of that. But like, why does the West put so much emphasis on like my kid is three years old and he knows how to read chapter books. I don't care. What does no your three year old need to know? So like you just said like, though, yeah, but can he defend himself and then right. kick but, him in the chest? But you just said like, it. <laughs> he needs to learn how to read to like know his instructions on how to work his equipment and all of that. Like that's super important. But everything else, like yeah. why does he need to learn how to read? They'll learn. We they, yeah, they'll we, learn. We do like self guided. Like when when he's interested in it, we teach him reading. Yeah. And when, when he's not, we teach him other stuff. So that's what I'm thinking too. Like, why are kids being forced to read? Like, even my niece, you know, it's like, oh, she has to read at this level at you know first grade. Otherwise, she has to do summer school. Why? Mm. What do you need to read for? I don't know. I'd like to start bringing the boys to the gym. Yes. Often, so like it's like yeah, it's, it's time to start. Oh my god! It's time for them to start. So they make connections. Yeah. Like easily, our kids will be one of the you know the kids doing burpees and squats and snatches. And I've shown like you the that. videos. Of, of Declan teaching the other yeah. three how to do like push ups and stuff. Oh. There's straight up CrossFit happening in our living room <gasps> because of Declan it. watching Derek yeah. on shoot or when we're, when we're filming. You know, it's like it's I, amazing <laughs> what they see. Like, even our one year old boys are mimicking totally. me in a hilarious way, but they see everything and they can't speak. They can, you know, they can't express their feelings, but I know they're watching. Like, it's yep. insane. Those it's kids, the little connections are getting made, and it's, it's shaping who they're going to grow up to become. Yeah. yeah, they definitely will grow up it's in the gym. To start coming. To, I need a new car so I can start taking them to the gym. Well, yeah, yeah, we're working on yeah, it. I'm just like uh, you know, like our kids. Uh, the boys turned 14 months today. Today, I'm starting to make like some some moves where it's like I'm I'm admitting to myself that I'm a dad now. Like I need a <laughs> 14 months that I can later. Fit my kids in and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Need room Derek's for yeah. stuff. He's rocking the GTI. Uh, and dude, like, wait, till uh, the, wait till the bikes. And the skateboards and the oh my wheels God. and all the stuff that comes along. Their with hockey them. equipment yeah. in the back seat. Uh, yeah, I need like a motorized wheelchair or something because like I'm fucking crippled, yeah. man. Like sh you know, I, I don't yeah. ride bikes. Yeah, I don't ride bikes. I'll make mm -hmm. them fucking. They can tow go me. with mom. Yeah. I'll make them tow me on a skateboard. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, these are things that we'll have to figure out. You know, yeah. so much fun. Yeah, I'm excited. That's what they say. Yeah, fucking kids, man. Holy moly. Actually, we got to probably like my mom's watching the boys right now while we record this podcast, and we should probably go pick them up. And go pick them. Yeah, <laughs> well, we could just Eventually, milk it. we could just milk it. Like, sorry, mom. Just not the come back went for wrong. them. Yeah, we just wake up tomorrow morning. Like, how was the night with the boys? <laughs> <laughs> Granny actually is going to be a guest, right? A future guest. Yeah, but I, so like we're gonna have my mom on the show. She's a hoop, but we have to wait till after my powerlifting meet. So that I can get uh, good and fucking drunk. Toasty. Just want to nice. get good and fucking drunk. And then That'd get her funny. good and fucking drunk. Yeah. And like with the goal is like, we got to we gotta get my mom to say fuck. No. Does yeah. she not curse no. or something? Mm -mm. No, no, it's but granny. She, but, if, but she'll just, it'll naturally slip out. All we got to do is like keep her uh, Moscato's flowing. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> the you know, rose. Yeah, Challenge yeah, accepted. Yeah. yeah. But and, then, she, and then she just, she piggybacks off of me. Like it slips out. Like after 15 minutes of hanging out with me. 
My mom was like, and that motherfucker. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, so we're going to do I yeah. did not know where that I, came from. I'm excited to hear her like fitness journey because oh, yeah. she right has yeah. been, but before she wasn't, she didn't live that lifestyle. And right. so for, she's 55 years old. And for someone to like make that lifestyle change at such an I would say older age is, you know, dramatic enough, but then the stuff that she's doing, yeah. like she's, she does CrossFit. Yeah. No, she's doing the workouts that Derek's doing. Yes. You know, when he's over but at- on top of that, she had a kidney disease and that is in remission. No, she is. She's like typical, legitimately she's Be- your- not because she did anything crazy. Like with medications, it's literally because she did CrossFit and moved her body. Yep. If that's not testament enough, like yeah. I don't know what is. So she I'm get super into changing excited. Diet up and getting rid so of she like did. Her, she's the typical case. Like I remember in her 30s, like she was the she was the quintessential yo-yo dieter. Yeah. Like count calories, 1500 calories a day. That's it. That was a thing even in the fucking 90s. You yeah. Know? Weight Watchers. And, yeah. yeah. And so and then and then she would like lose weight, but then she would like she would just kept gaining more weight and it'd be like a crash track your fucking calorie numbers again. Yep. And then it would just be yeah. like more We look more back at pictures yeah. and I'm like, that's you? And she says, I know. And then it would be like skinny and then bigger and then skinny. And then and like, that's she's normal. Just, she's been consistent now for the last three years. Yeah. And now she's kind of on like a final push to lose another, like the last 50 pounds, you know? So... It's, it's, but uh, no more medications. Yeah, she like, fucking totally. Yeah, so that's ins- impressive. Yeah. Insane. That's so impressive. I swear to you, it's all because she moves her body. Yep. That's it. Well, she, so like. She uh, changed her diet. She moves her body. Done. You know, the difference between my parents is like my dad had medical issues and he decided to do nothing. Yeah. And he fucking, he died. You know, he was just, he was just unhealthy and he didn't give right. a shit. And my mom. At like after my dad died, especially like my they were both already kind of unhealthy, and then my mom was obviously like very depressed for the next twelve months or As so. As you would be, and it just got worse and worse and worse, and so it was like, hey, your body's telling you now that it's time to fucking change, and a lot like still a majority of people don't answer that call. Mm-hmm. It's such an overwhelming task. It's way See, too much. Yep, because yeah. she had to fucking lose a hundred pounds. And then just change completely everything. change her life. So, yeah. Everything. People, it's a it's it's understandable that people wouldn't be able to answer that call, but you have everybody has the capacity to do it. So yeah, like I'm super proud. And now it's now it feels good that I'm actually like proud of my mom. Yeah. It's not it's not like everybody loves their parents and things like that. But now I'm like, mom, that's like I'm proud of that. Yeah. Like that is that is like commendable. Yes. That's a, that's a good feeling to be proud of, of your yeah. parents like that. You know, she still works full time. Yeah. She makes time she's for a, she's the gym. She's awake before we are. Yeah, yes. she's, at, she she's done with her workout by the time I fucking yes. wake up. Yeah. She goes to the 5.30 yeah. in the morning CrossFit class yeah. <laughs> because she chooses to. She works a full time job. She's 55 years old. She has two grandkids, two kids. Like, tell me again you don't have time. Yeah. yeah tell she, me again. She made it. She yeah. makes the time. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And now she's like I'm fucking excited. Two a days and shit, and like, yes, because like, you know, like she's, you know, it's like we tell this to people. Like people write me, like Derek, I've plateaued. Plateaus are for fucking uncreative people or things Change like it that. Up. It's like if you have to lose a hundred pounds, you can lose forty pounds by cleaning things up a little bit, maybe adding in a little exercise. But then you're gonna stop, and then to lose the next thirty pounds, you have to do better, better workouts better eating yeah. and then to lose like the last 30 you have to do a lot of shit right so she lost that 100 pounds but now she wants to lose 50 more and it's you know it's like you have to do better you have to do more you have to do better yep. yeah. you know so um, she's she's doing it so yeah but everyone in your family says like she was probably knocking on the door next oh, after your next. dad yeah. like, I fucking gave up on both of them I mean but how could you, you know? not your husband just died yep. of how many years mm-hmm. you know and then of oh, bad health of poor health oh oh Yes, definitely. Yeah. Like you were in the hospital with your son for years. That was yeah. For she was, years she was down because about 150 when I got shot. Yeah, and then going through that with me just kind Stress. of yeah. She was she, Derek's yeah. advocate. She was living in the hospital with me for yeah. several months. You know, which doesn't like, have yeah. good food to begin with. Yeah. And oh you're no, stressed, and so you're turning yeah. to any sort of like yeah. comfort that you can find, which exactly. for a lot of people is food. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah, and and just like all of these crazy things that no one should normally go through. And she had every reason to say, no, 
I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to give up, take the easy way. So I think that can resonate with a lot of people and especially with her age. So I think yep. that is what For I'm sure. excited yeah. to Dude, hear. Like some about. lady wrote me and cause it was so in our training programs, like there's sit-ups and some lady wrote me and she worded it. She's like, what should I do instead of sit-ups? I'm 52. I was like, what the fuck is that? Like, my mom do does 100 sit-ups for time. Yeah. yeah. She's she does doing 100 sit-ups on Broken right? at like 4.30. Yeah. Well, she's doing uh, like my 100 sit-ups a time for, okay, for okay. time once yep. a week. You yep. know, I, I shared that I do that once or twice a week or something like that. So I was like, what does that have to, like, yeah. your age is like. I mean, know. sure, you don't have to start doing sit-ups like right away, yeah. 100 sit-ups for time. Yeah. But I mean, sure, maybe she do planks or something to work through. your abs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it's like, like, yeah, just the mentality. Yeah. Russian twist, something yeah. Like, just fucking nothing, yeah. man. Like that. Uh, my uncle, my uncle was my uncle Don was in town. Him and his buddy Gus. Oh yeah, what, what for their birthday. Like they were seventy something. Yeah, like that. yep. And Gus, Gus tried the ring muscle up, yeah. and they fuck. They're just like older, fit dudes. They still run. Yeah, they're ages. seventy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They came mm -hmm. out here for their birthday. They're funny. They can't hear shit, but they can still. <laughs> oh my god, my my uncle was a fucking hoot, man. Like the gym is quiet at Apollo there, and my uncle Don's like I'm Apollo a dude. there. Yeah, we're at the yeah that so, Minnesota. Uh, yeah. We're not even <laughs> drinking either. God damn it. We're, we're at the gym. <laughs> we're there at the gym we there. go. It's, yeah. So we're at the fucking gym there. And, and it's quiet as shit. And all of a sudden you just hear like slam, 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 slam. My Uncle Don is just like beating a wall ball against the wall. Because, you know, like, you know, it's like yeah. kind of like old, like, just, you just got to keep those hips loose as you get older, you know? And it's just like this casual, he's just a. He's you know, really in shape, though. Yeah, I and, would and he, say. Yeah, and he's been a runner his whole life. Like, he's, he's yeah. the athlete of the family. For sure. You know, um, yeah. But For that sure. It was funny. Yeah. 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 Anyways, okay. I'm getting fucking hungry as yeah. shit. Well, I'm excited to yeah. hear about your mom's episode. Yeah, I can't wait episode. to talk to her. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I think uh, uh, next week on the podcast, you know, last week we talked about, uh, we kind of like talked about motivation. Yeah. Now we got to do a follow up. I, would, I just want to talk about goals. Goals. I just want to talk about goals. Goals. Huge. There's like weird psychology involved with goals. I Should told you Should you write goals something. down? Should you not? I know. Yeah. We'll I told talk Owen. I told Owen some of the things I believe, and he was like, what? That goes so interesting. contrary to what people yeah. think. And so I'll share some stories and, and, and we're going to talk about goals. I'm excited. Uh, talk about goals. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for uh, today's episode of Savage Saturdays. Just want to say thank you to Owen for operating everything behind the cameras. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you, Stacy. us once again and having good chats. Uh, we love you guys. We hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good life. We'll catch you next time. Thank you. See ya.